Good morning. Congratulations on Frida. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Um, so let's start by telling me a little bit about what was the thing that you learned about Frida through your work that really surprised you? Um, so I was uh, very obsessed with Frida. So I feel like I, um, I, I'm still very obsessed with Frida, obviously. Um, so I feel that I really knew all the details of her life. There was not much that really surprised me uh, when we were doing the research in terms of facts. But what really surprised me was this opportunity to really hear, you know, about her emotions in a very deep, personal way. Um, so to really hear the texture of her of her as a person, the texture of her personality, and and really the texture of her essence and her spirit, that was surprising, you know, to really, you know, be able to see her in a very fragile way sometimes or in a very messy way or insecure way. Um, but also even her sense of humor, you know, like hearing all the ways that she described, you know, maybe situations that she did not love. Um, she was incredibly sarcastic. So it was that closeness to her actual voice that gave me a much deeper understanding um, and, and, you know, closeness to her that really made me love her more in all her messiness and all her complexity. Um, so yeah, that, that was a surprising, wonderful, wonderful thing that I got through the process. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things about the documentary is that that you're hearing directly from her through letters and other forms of communication. Um, mm -hmm. Was there uh, something that you read that uh, really stuck out for you as sort of emblematic of, of her as a character? Um, I think that, <laughs> I think that her, you know, being embraced by the surrealists was really, was really wonderful to hear how she went back between embracing, you know, kind of like coming into that movement because it was advantageous for her at the time. It, you know, it provided her a uh, international stage for her art, uh, but, you know, being aware that she wasn't necessarily painting in a surrealist way because she, you know, because she wanted to. She was just kind of like painting out of, you know, a gut feeling of like having to express her own emotions. And she talks about it. Like I painted my own reality. I did not paint my dreams. Right. Uh, and then how that switch when, you know, when she wasn't being successful or she got really, you know, tired of, of being part of that movement, how then she embraced the idea that like she was never a surrealist and she didn't really like the surrealists. So I know that this is like very detailed <laughs> about her art, but it was really interesting to see kind of like how she navigated that world of men, you know, at yeah. that time. Talk about her as an outsider. Um, you know, I thought that was one of the interesting things that from kind of the outset, she really felt herself as an outsider in school and then she has the accident um tell us just give us a little bit of flavor about how she developed this this feeling of being an outsider i think that you know i think from the very beginning she was not able and she did not want to contain her voice like what she thought you know even though maybe that you know went against like you know for example the Catholic world that she was living in, she always had questions um, about the world and she always asked those questions. And that really, you know, that was like the essence of her spirit. Like I always thought about her as a rebellious voice just because she was so honest in the way that she communicated her desires, even her pleasure from really early on. She just let everything out. And I think that that especially in the culture of the time definitely made her an outsider. She was always so true to herself, you know, even in the way that like she, you know, her gender fluidity um, throughout her entire life, it was very public. Her bisexuality was, you know, she was showing it in the paintings. So what made her an outsider was that she said what she felt and she went for what attracted her. 
Um, and a lot of times we don't do that. We stop ourselves, right? We don't try not to listen to, you know, the organic desires that we have um, or the questions that we have. We don't always follow our curiosity. And she always did. And that was so special about her that that she went for it all the time. Carla, congratulations on the film. Thank you very much for taking time to talk to us. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.